let's talk about my next favorite book. My favorite book is still always going to be Og Mandino's The Greatest Salesman in the World, as we just went through in the last video, mainly only because those 10 principles have been my foundation longer than anything in my life. Um, love those. This is another book, though, that there are four concepts in this book, four principles in this book um, that really just mean the world to me. And this book did not come into my life till later in my life. Um, I can't remember how many years ago it was. The other one, I know it's close to 30 years. Um, I'm not sure how many years I've been into this book. But I'm going to put up on the screen here again, just as I did last time, and then we're going to get rid of this because I want to show you a full screen of the four agreements. But I want to remind you that this has all been triggered in me when I was maybe 2021 20, from Les Brown saying, Read one book per month in that area. Again, find that area that is worth you making this level of a commitment to, okay? Find that area, find one book, new book, every single month on that particular topic or area, and after five years, you will become one of the top 5% experts. Then I would challenge you after those five years, then live that for the next 25 years. Um, and we discussed that in the last video, so I won't uh, keep hammering that here. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on the four agreements here, okay? And what we're going to do is just briefly, not as long as what we did on the 10 scrolls with Augmandino, I'm going to just quickly go through these. And I'm going to let you dig in. Um, I'm going to give you a few suggestions on how to read this book. Um, reading it front to back is fine. Um, I'm going to be honest, reading it front to back, this book did not motivate me. It took me forever to get through this book, and it's a small book. Okay, um, But I'll give you suggestions after we talk about these agreements. I'm going to give you suggestions on how I would recommend you read. You might be different than me. You might pick up this book. You go front to back. It's the easiest book you ever read. This was not the easiest book for me to read. I started this probably close to a dozen times and put it back and never finished it. Once I did, though, and I found the secret of it, um, for me anyways, is I can't stop rereading it. Okay, So we'll talk about what was the game changer for me to get through this book and then for it to basically become an integral part of my life. So the four agreements, you can see them on the screen here. Be impeccable with your word. I'm just going to read these so you can hear them out loud. It's one thing to read something. It's another thing to hear the words out loud. And the next thing I'm going to recommend, you read them out loud. Pause this video. Read them out loud to yourself. There is power in you reading out loud. The reason why is because you create this loop, this feedback loop. It comes out of your mouth. You hear your own words tell you things because it can't come out of your mouth unless you're deaf. You cannot come out of your mouth without you hearing it. There's that feedback loop. Okay? And if you tell yourself something enough times, you can't help but believe it. You could tell yourself over and over again that you're sick. And I guarantee you, after a certain while, you're going to start feeling sick. Okay? Same thing here. You find these principles that mean the world to you and phrase them in such a way that you are claiming them as yours, as your principles as actions you're going to take, as principles you're going to live, and you speak those out loud, your ear is going to hear what you are confessing. Do it over and over and over again until it just becomes your default, your internal you, the authentic you. So let's talk about these. So I'll, I'll read these out loud so you can hear them, but I'm going to recommend that you read them out loud over and over again to yourself. Okay? Be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Now, you can reread that a million times, but you also can change. It's okay to change the words that are in there and not just say, speak with integrity. You can say, I speak with integrity. I only say what I mean. I avoid using the word to speak against myself or to gossip about anyone. I use the power of my words in the direction of truth and love. Now, I could reread that and rephrase it again and say it a little differently, okay? But I'm telling you right now to say those words out loud and to get that feedback loop. You do that enough times, uh, the power is crazy. 
okay? So be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. This is not an easy one for a lot of people, okay? This is not an easy one for a lot of people. And you may say this, you may believe this. It may take you years, years before this actually becomes a reality for you. And then when it is a reality for you, give yourself a break from time to time. You're going to backslide and something that someone does say you do take personally. But if you keep reading this, when that happens over and over again, you're going to start to regain that principle for yourself and reclaim, cl claim these principles for yourself. I claim these four principles as the internal me. This is the authentic me, these four things. Hands down, nothing others do is because of you. Now, the book does a great job really digging into that one sentence. On a quick video like this, I'm not going to be able to dig into that like I'd like to. But the concept is amazing once you dig into the book. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality. Not your reality, it's theirs. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. That chapter, what it talks about, first of all, that first sentence, nothing others do is because of you. And that chapter really does a great job on really talking about needless suffering that we put ourselves through. Okay, so that's a great concept, amazing concept. Don't make assumptions. Can you actually go into, this has been a practice for me for years, an intentional and purposeful practice, is can you go into a conversation with no assumptions? Can you literally go in just to listen to see what they have to hear with no assumptions? Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. Oh, this chapter is so good when you dig into it. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100 okay? Gosh, I want to dig into each one of these so, 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 so much. Um, this is not intended to be a one, two, or three hour class. I just want to give you the summaries of these, but so good. So, 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 so good. Always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. Oh, that's important. That is so important. Your best right now could look totally different even an hour from now, let alone a month from now, five years from now. Okay? He does a great job in the book, again, going into that concept, but it's still your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best. And you will avoid self-judgment, self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Now, ah, I don't even want to move on and talk about what, you know, what changed, uh, made this book readable for me because I want to dig into each one of these topics because I just, I adore them so, so, so much. Um, but again, this is not meant to be a full-blown class. Here is basically uh, what I'm going to tell you about this book. You notice how I divide it into thirds, okay? I divide this book into thirds, and the reason why is because basically, I'll call it a preamble and a post, and that is, is that there's I do not mean to say this disrespectfully to the author, but before you get to this middle section, which is the four chapters, which is the four agreements, these are the chapters that I would recommend you read over and over and over and over again. Um, for me, now it means something to me now, but I'm going to tell you the first eight to 10 times, 12 times that I tried to get into this book, this first section did not attract me in the least. It was just a lot of words and concepts that I wasn't interested in. Now, I wasn't interested in them at the time. Eventually, I got to the point that I could get through those, and now I actually really like them and I appreciate them. Um, but I'm just going to tell you right now, it was just a lot of words and a lot of stuff. I just did not do a lot for me. I'm in a different place now, and I love them. But I don't reread them over and over again. Then after you go through the four agreements, there's 
the post, okay? I call it pre and post, okay? Again, it was just the first couple times I read it, it was just a bunch of words to me. Didn't They're fine now and everything else like that. But I am telling you what is in between here, these four chapters right here, changed my life. Now, the best part of this is all four of these concepts, I knew that those were things that I wanted. I just had never seen anybody put them into words in a way that had real impact on me. Okay, You can have the greatest concept in the world, but if you don't make it accessible to others, how much does it really mean? He made these four concepts very accessible to me. And so what I do, if not every month, but a couple times a year, I don't reread the whole book. I go back to these four chapters, and I may reread these four chapters over and over again, a dozen times in a row over a couple days, just to hammer them in there. I don't really read the pre and the post. Now, I'm glad I have gotten into them and have accepted them and enjoy them and everything else like that, but I'm gonna be honest. What I need to reread over and over again, same thing when I do Ogmandino's book. When I do Ogmandino's book, I don't read the first part of the story and the last part of the story. I read the 10 scrolls in between. Those are the, those are the pages I reread every month, sometimes every week, sometimes every day, okay? That is what changed for me. So what I would say, read it from front to back. Um, what didn't help me in this one was I tried to get through it by buying the audiobook. So I got the audiobook, and I'm not kidding, I basically daydreamed through this whole part. I daydreamed through this whole last part the first couple times I listened to it. I just kept hearing everybody brag about it, so I kind of forced fed myself this. Now, once all of a sudden this all clicked for me, now I go back and I listen to the audio and I really play the audio for these four chapters and both reading it physically, underlining it, hearting it, doing all the things that I do in a book is it means something to me. And also the audio of these four chapters, I love hearing these concepts spoken out loud. So I'll have it in my car and if I've got a long enough trip, I'll just do those four chapters over and over and over and over again, sometimes for hours. I just absolutely love them. So you can see them. They're four very, 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 very basic, um, simple principles. But man, they're powerful, number one. And number two, they're made crazy accessible with the way he talks about them in his. And that's what surprised me because I didn't think the beginning of the book was very accessible. Um, it is now, but the way he did it in these four became very accessible to me. And I loved that. So I hope that helps you guys. Whew, these are a couple. I, it's hard for me to stop these videos because I want to talk about these things in such depth. It's crazy. But I would say if you're looking for two book recommendations to be foundation foundational principles for you, both personally and professionally, those are two books I'd go after. Ogmandino, The Greatest Salesman in the World, and then The Four Agreements. Have an awesome day, guys. Take care.